a sum of rupees seventeen thousand two hundred is lent out at simple interest in two parts for two years at eight percentage and ten percentage per annum respectively. If the total interest received after two years is rupees three thousand eight, then money lent at eight percentage rate is here in two years simple interest received is three thousand eight. Then in one year simple interest received is half of this half of three thousand fifteen hundred half of eight four. So fifteen hundred four is the simple interest received in one year. Now the sum seventeen thousand two hundred lent out in two part. One part at eight percentage and other part at ten percentage. Eight plus two is ten. Consider sum lent at eight percentage as x and sum lent at ten percentage as y. Now eight percentage is common here. That is here if you take eight percentage of x and eight percentage of y, which is equal to eight percentage of x plus y. Here x plus y is equal to Seventeen thousand two hundred. So take eight percentage of sum seventeen thousand two hundred. Double zero and percentage cancel. Eight into one seventy two. Eight into two sixteen. Eight into seven fifty six plus one fifty seven. Eight into one plus five thirteen. So if you subtract this thirteen seventy six from fifteen hundred four, which is equal to two percentage of y. That is. Here, this fifteen hundred four is eight percentage of x plus eight percentage of y plus two percentage of y. That is fifteen hundred four is equal to eight percentage of x plus y plus two percentage of y. Now, eight percentage of x plus y means thirteen seventy six. So, subtract it from fifteen hundred four. You will get two percentage of y. So, this is equal to fourteen minus six is eight. Nine minus seven is two. Fourteen minus thirteen is one. So two percentage of y is equal to one twenty eight means here two percentage is one twenty eight means one percentage is sixty four. Then hundred percentage of y is equal to y, which is equal to sixty four hundred. Then we need x here. X is equal to difference between seventeen thousand two hundred and sixty four hundred. Seventeen thousand two hundred minus six thousand is equal to eleven thousand two hundred. Eleven thousand two hundred minus four hundred is equal to ten thousand eight hundred. So here, sum lent at eight percentage is equal to x, which is ten thousand eight hundred. Option four is your answer.